wanting to take your playing to the next level and play more advanced pieces, you have to be studying violin positions. I'm violinist Heather Kay. I train violinists all over the world how to improve their violin technique and play with gorgeous tone. In this video, I'll be talking about why you need to study positions on the violin in order to take your playing to the next level. If you like this video, definitely give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel for more technique and tone tips on the violin. What I just played for you was an excerpt from the final page of Chrysler's Preludium and Allegro. And in that passage, I went from first position all the way to seventh position and played every single position in between. If you want to just rattle off some really advanced pieces comfortably and freely, you need to be fluent in your positions on the violin. If you don't learn positions on the violin, you'll be stuck playing only in first position. Now, playing in first position can be really, really beautiful, but you can play more beautifully if you take exactly what I just played for you and move it up into third position. There are so many different colors that you can get out of your violin if you start to explore the different positions. You may be asking, well, what exactly are positions? The violin is set up like a grid. When you first learn the violin, you learn first position. Okay, and where your second finger lives in first position, if you replace that with your first finger, that puts you up in second position. Okay, and then if we go back to first position, where your third finger lives in first position, replace that with your one. That's third position. We go back to first position where your fourth finger lives. You replace that with your first finger. That's fourth position. And when we're in third position, we replace our third finger with our first finger. That's fifth position. So you can hear the different colors that we have in every single position, right? So if we go back into third position, where your fourth finger lives in third position, that's sixth position. In sixth position, where you play your second finger, that's our seventh position. Seventh position is a lot of fun because it, it cuts the string exactly in half. That's where seventh position lives. It's right in the middle of that string. And seventh position reads like third position, just a string over. And fifth position reads like first position, but just a string over. As you can see, when you know your positions and you're fluent in your positions, it's gonna be super, super easy to play more advanced pieces and to have them fly off your fingertips. How to get to that point is to make sure you have a daily position practice put into place. Focus on a position and really learn that position. Violin positions are the framework to all intermediate and advanced pieces on the violin. Position knowledge is an absolute must for orchestral playing. Some people ask me, how do violinists know the best fingerings to play? That's because they have position knowledge. You'll be able to determine what are the best fingerings once you know your positions better. I would suggest at least one sixth of your practice time be devoted to 
studying your positions. Dedicated position practice is important to schedule in your practice sessions. No matter how advanced you are, it's an excellent practice to focus in on a position by playing scales, arpeggios, and exercises for technical cleaning and strengthening. Are you ready to take your violin journey to the next level by studying your positions? Make sure you check out my video, Three Things You Must Develop Before Learning Positions on the Violin. If you've already started to learn positions but you're struggling with it, definitely check out this video. I'll see you there. Ciao!